Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial series. Today we're going to go ahead and import the assets for our Match 3 game. Um, so download from our website and when you have it downloaded uh, just double click it with your, with your project open and it should uh, import everything. So just say import and after it finishes loading everything in then we can go ahead and get and start working on getting everything game ready um, sometimes when people make assets for you they might be out of scale with your game or they might not be exactly how you want everything so if we go ahead and look at one of these coins and we drag it in and zero this out you can see that this is not in scale and so we're gonna have to rescale this uh, to do so let's go to our source files and the match 3 coin if you go to the model you can type in point 0.1 on the scale factor and then click apply now the scale is probably uh, probably good if you rotate it you can see how it will appear in game. We can always up the scale a little bit, maybe 1.5. All right, that works. Um, so if we go to our coins, these are just the coins without any uh, particle effects, and these ones have two different particle effects in them. If we look at one of the particle effects. You'll also notice that they're much larger than what we'd want. Uh, we have to rescale this slightly too. So if you go to the start size, we're going to use a scale factor we just used before, which is 1.5. And that should fix how this looks. So we're going to have to do this on all of the particle effects. So go ahead to the small particle effect and 1.5 we're going to have to do this on all of them though yeah. so 1.5 1.5 or 0 0.15 0 0.15 0.15 0.15 alright great we're gonna copy these prefabs from here and drag them into our resources prefabs folder so we can use them in game that's the only these are the only ones we're gonna need from this right now um, the next thing we need to do is drag our gem in and we're going to go ahead and remove the sphere from the prefab and then we're going to also create a field in our gem script and we're going to call this the gem holder And this is just going to be this game object, which is going to be the parent of one of these coins later on. Um, so go ahead and drag the game object to this uh, to the gem holder. Set that to none. And then we're going to re-prefab this. All right. Um, the next thing we need to do with all of these part or all of these gems are we can we're gonna have to disable the particle effects so select them all and then disable them okay now if you notice the names of these gems they're blue green gray purple they're the same or at least in the same theme as our material folder and so we're going to treat this pretty much the same way. Um, we have six gems. Two, three, four, five, six. 
which is gray and no black and that should be good and so on our create gem instead of doing this we're going to do something similar we're going to instantiate a new game object after we get a prefab from our, our gem prefab we're going to get resources.load and it's going to be the prefabs plus the color prefabs slash plus our color as a game object and then we're going to use this game object and store this into sphere uh, so we're going to say sphere equals game object instantiate gem prefab and we're going to say vector three dot identity or dot zero quaternion dot identity and then see what this does so we have some so our gems aren't being parented properly if you look you'll see that it is assigned to a sphere but it is not parented in the spot that it's supposed to be so the way we're going to do this is then we're going to say sphere dot transform dot parent equals game or just transform and now if we do it then the gems are all properly parented but now they're all in the wrong spots not game object dot transform gem holder dot transform gem and now they're in the right spots so we want to say that sphere dot transform dot local position equals vector three dot zero and now they appear in the right spots however you'll see that there is now another problem that arises and gems are now overlapping when they are created that's because we're not destroying the sphere in the beginning so there is still a copy of it in existence we're getting closer the next thing that we need to do is change our particle effect to the new particle effect so the way we're going to do that is if you look at the prefab this gem has a blue particle effect small and the other one has green particle effect and so forth um, and we know our sphere so what we can do is instead of toggling our selector on here we can go ahead and find the selector in this gem and toggle it but first what we should do is delete the other particle effect because what we're going to do is we're going to get the component in the child of one of these gems and then toggle on its particle system so let's drag these in and let's go ahead and change some other stuff uh, particle effect we just want to delete the particles not the small one which is the one we're using alright so now that they're deleted um, the next thing we want to do is actually just change this name to selector
and so forth until we finish them all. Okay. Now we just need to be prefab them all. And we can use the new uh, particle effect for our selecting. So just drag them back onto their correct color or name. And then delete them from the scene. So instead of doing this, oh yeah, one more thing, we can go ahead and into our gem, we can go ahead and delete the selector. And we prefab it. And here we're going to go ahead and remove our selector reference since we no longer need it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the sphere, then get or transform dot find child and we name them all the same which is selector the component particle particle system enable or now we can just turn it on just get the game object dot set active then is selected and see what's going wrong mm. Hmm. So, it's not a component. It's, we're actually getting the game object already. It's a transform that we need to... Or we're getting the transform from Fine Child, and then we just need to get the game object reference from it. And then we want to set uh, active with is selected. And if we play now, you can now click on a coin and see the new particle effect and click on the other one and they will match. Alright, thank you for watching.